In the previous video, we learned about the first server rendering strategy, namely static rendering. In this video, let's dive into the second strategy, which is dynamic rendering. Dynamic rendering is a server rendering strategy where routes are rendered for each user at request time. It is useful when a route has data that is personalized to the user or contains information that can only be known at request time, such as cookies or the URL's search parameters. News websites, personalized e-commerce pages, and social media feeds are some examples where dynamic rendering is beneficial. Now that we understand what dynamic rendering is and when to use it, the next question is how do we use it? Or how do we inform Next.js that we want to dynamically render a particular route in our application? It turns out, during rendering, if a dynamic function is discovered, Next.js will automatically switch to dynamically rendering the whole route. In Next.js, the dynamic functions are cookies, headers, and search params, which acts more like a prop available for every page. Using any of these will opt the whole route into dynamic rendering at request time. Let's go back to VS Code and write some code to understand better. In our about component, let's import and include the cookies dynamic function. So at the top, import cookies from next slash headers. And within the component, const cookie store is equal to invoking the cookies function. Const theme is equal to cookie store dot get. And let's assume there is a cookie called theme. Let's log theme to the console. Now what we do with the cookies function is not really important right now. We are including it to ensure Next.js dynamically renders this about page. With this code in place, let's build our application and inspect the output from dynamic rendering. Let me delete the .next folder and in the terminal, run the command npm run build. This takes a couple of seconds to generate the .next build folder. Now for the first part, let's make sense of the build output in the terminal. Similar to the previous video, we have a list of all the individual routes generated. Our focus though is on this about route. It has a lambda symbol beside it. And if we take a look at the legend below, Lambda stands for dynamic rendering, where we server render on demand using Node.js. The next point to keep in mind is that dynamically rendered pages are not statically rendered at build time. So if we inspect server app, we see the dashboard.html page as before, but we don't see the about.html page. This behavior is as expected. For the final part, let's start the application. In the terminal, run the command npm run start. If we now refresh slash about, the page is pre-rendered and you can see the lock statement in the terminal, the cookie name and value, as well as the about server component lock statement. In the network tab, we can see the preview as well as the response which contains the HTML. Refreshing this page will render the latest time. But the HTML file is not generated in the server. Since a new page is built for every request, there is no need to generate a page into the build folder. You can see we still don't have about.html. What we have just seen might seem trivial after understanding builds for static rendering. However, like I mentioned earlier, building our application and running the built application is as close as we can get to a production deployment. So I wanted to make sure you understand how it works. Now, similar to static rendering, we will explore more about dynamic rendering when we deal with data fetching in the next section. But to summarize what we have learned in this video, dynamic rendering is a strategy where the HTML is generated at request time. Next.js automatically switches to dynamic rendering when it comes across a dynamic function in the component, such as cookies, headers, or the search params object. 
This form of rendering is great for when we need to render HTML personalized to a user, such as a social media feed. What is great with Next.js is that, as a developer, you do not need to choose between static and dynamic rendering. Next.js will automatically choose the best rendering strategy for each route based on the features and APIs used. All right, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.